Um, he did quite a bit of writing for Little House. He actually started on Bonanza. Towards the end of Bonanza, he was given a break to write and direct. And so he was really smart as an actor. You know, you don't have, you only have a certain amount of control. So he really took his future into his own hands and really paid attention to the different crafts, especially the directors and the DP and, and personnel like that. And uh, so he was able to carry that over into Little House. Um, in terms of the amount of scripts, I'm not sure, but it was quite a few. Um, in series, you have a writing room, a writing staff, and, uh, and he directed quite a few of the episodes of Little House as well. There was about three main directors. Uh, in terms of influence, huge. Yeah, I mean, he made such an impact on me. Um, you know, I looked up to him, not only creatively, but he was uh, he was so good to his, his crew and his cast. There was never any yelling. Um, he didn't stand for it. Uh, you know, it was all about work ethic. If you worked hard and you tried your best, it didn't make, matter if you made mistakes, but if you were working hard, you, you were gold, you were in. And uh, he, he was very generous with his crew as well. Uh, very special. This way, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I had four characters. Are you talking about her personalities? <laughs> or, oh, sorry. There were four characters before I was at a. So the first one was the play where I played a dying child, and that was my first acting scene, and I got to do that with my dad. Uh, the second one was the election that my brother Mike was in. The third one was um, uh, The Third Miracle with Melissa Sue Anderson and Linwood Boomer, where I play a pregnant woman and we go over the cliff in a stagecoach, and, she, oh, and Mary's yeah. gotta go find help. And then uh, Melissa Gilbert and I were working in a kitchen uh, together for this when she had to go do a seminar called The Wiser Heart. Yes. Yeah, how are we most like Dad? Well, we definitely both have his goofy sense of humor. Yeah. We're practical jokers. Big time. Yeah. 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 Mike has Dad's incredible work ethic and incredibly talented writer director, and it's fun. To, you know, our dad's been gone a long time, but three of my four children are in the film business. My son Justin, um, he's a writer and director. He has a movie out. Uh, it's the number one movie on Amazon right now for the last six months called Upgraded. It's a rom com. And my son wrote that. So it's kind of fun to see the genes kind of getting passed down. So it's been super special. Yes. Oh, you're asking how Laura found out how she got the role? Melissa Gilbert. Oh, Melissa Gilbert? Yeah, I got in big trouble for that one. So, um, I was 11 at the time and Melissa was nine when she auditioned and my dad would pretty much be home for dinner every night and he was telling us at dinner that he thought he found his Laura Ingalls and he said her name's Melissa Gilbert and he said I think she actually goes to our school. So I was remembering the name so the next day at school at lunch I went up to a teacher and I said can you tell me which one Melissa Gilbert is and so they pointed to her. And I walked up to her and I tapped her on the back and I said, hi, are you Melissa Gilbert? And she said, yes. I said, hi, my dad's Michael Landon. And he said, you're gonna be Laura Ingalls. <laughs> and she just blew out of her seat and ran away. And I thought, oh, okay. Well, she ran to the school office, called her mother. Her mother called her agent. Her agent called my dad's casting director. And wow, did I get in trouble that night. 